let's talk a little bit about the drop shot, whether it be the forehand or the backhand. You know, it's, it's amazing that a lot of people, they don't even practice this. And it's such a shot that should be in your toolbox. It doesn't matter what age, what, what level, it's, and it's available. The problem is when people do a drop shot and they miss, okay, everybody goes, no, 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 you shouldn't have done that. It's like taking a three-pointer from 30 feet and the coach is going, no, 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 hey, great shot, buddy. Okay, you hear this stuff all the time. Okay, S Sophia Kennan comes to mind. She used to hit 100 drop shots a week. And it's ironic that now she has one of the best drop shots on the Pro Tour. I mean, confidence breeds confidence. You gotta fail, fail, fail to succeed, succeed, succeed. You gotta try the drop shot. Now, if you're gonna drop shot because you're lazy or you're out of position or it's a bailout, we don't want that. What I'm here to work with you on is you gotta practice a drop shot, all right? You can bring your opponent in, people are backing up to play defense. You gotta work on the drop shot. It's a big part of your game. Forehand, backhand, serve, lob, volley, slice, drop shot. You gotta practice it. Very, very much available to every player. Now, the key to the drop shot, okay? Obviously, you gotta have a continental grip where you can open the racket face a little bit and you're gonna put a little backspin on it. It's kind of like the volley, okay? It's kind of like the volley, but the ball's gonna hit the ground, okay? But the real key, what I'm here to tell you today, it's all about disguise. It's all about disguise. If your opponent doesn't know it's coming, or you can trick your opponent and you can make it look like a ground stroke, to me, even if you don't execute and deliver the goods and make it an amazing drop shot, they're gonna think, they're gonna think you're gonna hit your ground stroke. Because remember, it's on a short ball. You don't want a drop shot from, you know, behind a baseline in general. It's a relatively short ball. I like to tell all my students, even everybody who's become number one in the world or all the world-class players I've worked with on the men's and women's tour or all the juniors, I tell them the same thing, okay? When you can do everything else and the sun is shining, the drop shot is available on the menu. So here's the key. You got to come in like you're going to pump it, like you're going to pump it, and then you're going to dump it, okay? You're going to pump it, and then you're going to dump it. You got to make it look like you're going to attack the ball. Then you got to change the channel. You don't need a remote control. You change the channel. It's all about disguise. Okay, the more you practice this, it's going to be a major league part of your toolbox, and you'll see as time goes on, it's going to be amazingly effective. Bang!